Hey, Rob Allen here with Leonardo Guillen. Yes, sir. It's been a pleasure talking to Likewise. you and meeting you so far. And Leonardo, we're, we're continuing our Cleaner to Cleaner series, talking about how people got into the business and maybe some needs I thought we could bring up. He's got a certain need, and we'll talk about that in a minute. First of all, I'd like to ask you, how did you get into the carpet cleaning? Uh, I'm currently 35 years old. Um, an uncle of mine back in 98 got me into it, uh, working part-time, and throughout the years I've been doing it part-time. Currently working uh, full-time active duty with the military, so I'm doing oh, carpet cool. cleaning on the side. Uh, what branch of the military are you in? Uh, former Marine and currently with the Army. Great, great, great. I'm sure everybody's appreciative of your service, so keep up the good work. And uh, so now you've been using a portable, right? Yes, sir. And uh, you're thinking about transitioning into a truck mount. Truck mount. Okay. Now you had mentioned that your wife works for you, and she has a certain business. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Absolutely. Uh, wife and I cr uh, currently are doing carpet cleaning, and she's doing the housekeeping side of the business. So we're trying to expand as we grow. Uh, we're currently five years out from uh, retirement from the military. Okay. So we're trying to expand as much as possible to expand the business while we're still on active duty, have a pension, and then expand the business a little bit. Uh, so how are you reaching out to her clients? Are you just kind of giving them a flyer or a brochure? Are you just mentioning it? How are you reaching out it's to mainly, her clients? It's mainly word to mouth and through Facebook advertising. Oh, good, good. Yes, sir. So they know the quality of work she does. That, that's one thing I've always noticed. If you do good quality in one area, you can easily add another diverse service because they trust you for one. So they'll trust you for another. So I was mentioning to you earlier, you said you're using a portable and you're just doing carpets and upholstery now, right? Yes, sir. But you could easily transition even in using a portable. I want people to know, even with a portable, you can clean tile and grout if you're using a product like Grout Master, which doesn't need, need much scrubbing, but you're going to have to pick up some type of tile and grout wand. So just kind of keep that in mind if you want to transition to it. It's really actually pretty profitable. Okay, right. so keep, keep that in mind. I think it'd be a nice step. So you're transitioning out of the military. You've got a lot of experience cleaning carpets, and you're going to be doing some of this full time, and you see you're also going to be picking up some real estate yes, sir. license, correct? Yes, sir, that's the idea. Yeah, you put all that together, I think you got a winning combo. Okay. You know, and hopefully, um, has TMF helped you? The for Are you on the forum and the Facebook group? Yes, sir, I'm on uh, TMF and actually on the forum also. So there's a lot of experience uh, throughout the group that has assisted me with the uh, different chemicals uh, and different things that I can utilize to better grow the business. So awesome, thank you. awesome. Yeah, that thing, appreciate it. That's why we set up the whole forum and the groups, because I've said it, I'll say it again, don't want to be too repetition, but iron sharpens iron. So we all learn different things from, from each other, and I think that's really valuable. And uh, one more thing I wanted to mention before I let you go. You were mentioning you're going to transition now from a portable to a truck mount. And you are asking me about truck mounts, um, and you had a certain budget. Yes, sir. And you said your wife's going to be using some when you're not in town, correct? Absolutely. So my thought is, and maybe I'd like anybody else to chime in when they see this video. He's going to, we're going to leave his email on there. You can find him on the Facebook group or on the forum. Uh, my recommendation was probably a direct drive like a CDS or a Butler or something of that nature because it's going to be very low maintenance for your wife. It's going to be very simple and easy for her to use. And um, I just think that would be the easiest thing, especially if she's going to be working along with you. The problem is he has a budget somewhere between ten and maybe 15000 So if any of you guys out there have a used Butler or a used CDS that's in relatively good shape or you know someone, if you would get in touch with us through the Facebook group or his email or through the TMF forum, we'd really appreciate it. Uh, is there anything else you need in that truck, do you think? Pretty what, much. Uh, what are you kind of looking for? Uh, right now, what I'm looking for is something that's going to be reliable. I know the budget's not the greatest, but if uh, you have something used and you're uh, trying to get rid of it, uh, please get a hold of me. Uh, my wife basically is currently about four feet, nine inches and uh, something reliable that's not going to be a, a uh, arm breaker on her. So the truck mount would definitely assist on that. Well, you know, you said you already had a Rotovac 360, right? Yes, sir. That's going to be kind of easier because they're, they're fairly light to carry in and out. And that's easy to use. And make sure whatever wand you get, if you want to get up with us or somebody on the group, get a wand that has a glide. A glide makes a huge difference. And there's some glides that are easier to push than others. If you want something easy for her to push, I would get her a titanium wand with a good glide, maybe lean towards a, a whole glide or a um, hybrid glide. That's going to be the easiest thing for her to push around and to carry in and, and out of a home. And uh, it won't wear her out as the day goes on. But it'll keep her in good shape. There you go. That's the goal. <laughs> well, hey, it was a pleasure meeting Thank you. you it really was, Leonardo. If you got any questions or problems, remember, anytime you're in the Virginia Beach area, you want to stop in like he has and other cleaners have, 
Remember, Cleaner to Cleaner, we're here to help you in any form or fashion. And remember, there's going to be his email here so you can reach him directly. And if you, we can help him out, that'd be great. Well, thanks a lot. I'm Rob Allen. Have yourself a great day.